just type the material that you hear coming through that headset over there. And the strobe light will just help you increase your speed. I had to at least need points for nervousness. <laughs> Don't worry. You just type what the voice tells you to. Now, Julie, the key to any goal is to be able to relax. The same is true when you type. One must allow the mind to ease. Let your hands relax on the keys. Let your body completely relax. Let the light guide your rhythm of the keys. Faster and lighter. Breathe slowly and deeply. Slowly and deeply. Hands faster and lighter. Julie, this is Mr. Reardon. You may stop now. I've stopped, sir. That's very good. Relax. You may rest now. You did very well, Julie. You should be happy. You may open your eyes now. But you will only listen to my voice. You will only hear my voice. Do you understand that? All right, now open the drawer. Take out the mirror. Hand it to me. Take out the candle and put it in front of the mirror. Now take out the matches and light the candle. She's resisting you. I know. Now light the candle. Must have had training in hypnotic resistance. But it's all right, she's deeper now. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Now, your hands are very cold, and the flame is like ice. I want you to take your right hand and hold it over that flame. You will not be hurt. As long as you look at the flame and do as I say, have her deeper now. You're beyond time, beyond pain. Beyond memory. Now, Julie, tell me, why did you come here? I work for Charles Townsend and Associates. I was sent here to find out about Francine Miller. Well, that cuts it. Townsend is the slickest detective agency on the coast. She's big trouble, John. Maybe not, Robert. Julie, obviously you're not working alone on this. Oh, sir. There's Chris and Kelly. Now, Julie, I want you to write down those names and a list of everyone else who was involved in this investigation and everything you know about them. Yes, sir. You don't want to keep her around here. Her loyalties are to Townsend. And that's why she's valuable. Townsend thinks that she is still his operative, but she belongs to me now. I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful volunteer. Hi, boss. It's me, Julie. I just called to check in. Well, if you're not busy, we could use a little help over here. Looks like I'm going to be tied up for a while. I still have to take some tests. I should be home by about 11 or so. Anything on Francine Miller? If you mean between her and her boss? I doubt it. They discourage that kind of thing here. It doesn't make for good working relationships with the client companies. 
So everything's all right? Yeah, fine. Shouldn't take more than a day or so. I think Charlie will be able to write off Reardon and Company as a lead. Oh, wow, you should see me type. This program's really increased my speed. Well, all that's increased here is our workload. It's a real paper chase. Oh, that's too bad. This program's great. Well, this young executive is going to take it easy a little bit later. And, by the way, I wanted to borrow that mime book of yours. Can I come by and get it? Sure, Chris. Listen, I gotta go. Company time and all that. Okay, see you later. Bye. Well, at least it is good to hear that she is enjoying her work. You did very well. Kelly Garrett, Chris Monroe, and John Bosley. He did very well. Darlene? Take Miss Rogers for sensory conditioning. Yes, sir. You intend to program her before she has to see her friends. That's pushing it, John. Each new suggestion that she accepts as reinforces her trance. You hear me now? Yes, sir. I can hear you very well. Are you comfortable? Yes, very comfortable, Mr. Rudin. You're doing very well, Julie. I want you to concentrate. Picture the candle, picture the flame. It is right before your eyes. The flame will help you to relax. I... I can't... I don't see it. Just listen to my voice. Always only listen to my voice. It is part of you then. You must always obey my voice. Do you hear? You can relax when you see the flame, Julie. Yes. I see, I see it. I see the flame. Hours together. It is growing colder now, isn't it? Yes. It's getting colder. It's getting much colder. But, Mr. Rudin, will you please let me out? No, not yet, Julie. Breathe deeply and only listen to my voice. The flame is dimming now. It is growing dark. And dark. Yes, it's gone. Good. Just relax now. It's time to rest. Completely rest and forget. Forget everything. Except what my voice instructs you to do.
famous like ice.